What's up everyone? My name is Gary and today we're here at uh, Devil's Backbone and it's located in Grand Tower just along the Mississippi. So I've already made my way up to the top. It's one of the most fascinating geological places in Southern Illinois in my opinion. And the reason is we've got fault lines, we've got different type of rock on each other, we've got the floodplain, We've got a lot of history. Uh, there's furnaces here. We've got the Mississippi River. So this area definitely fits in with some of the areas that I filmed here recently. Pine Hills, Grassy Knob, Horseshoe Bluff. So all this fits in with those areas. So you don't have to watch those videos to uh, get something out of this one. If you like this video, go back and check those other ones out. So I'm headed down to check out some of the first rock that we'll see on this backbone. And it's uh, called Grand Tower Limestone. It's a lot different than the Bailey Limestone over at the Inspiration Point. So right off the bat, I'm pretty much seeing fossils in this rock. This one here. So it has a really coarse texture on some of this rock. So it doesn't feel like some of the other limestone that I've come across. Wow. Yeah, look at this. This dips down. Huh. What we'll be doing is following this bluff until it uh, basically ends. There is a fault line where we should be able to see the transition from this Grand Tower limestone to Chert. And I believe there's a different type of limestone that's going to be on the southern end. So I think with this section, you can kind of see why it's called Devil's Backbone. It's just this real narrow ridge. This is Walker's Hill. So imagine the Mississippi River coming through here and just carving out these bluffs. What we would have is an island here and I'd be standing on an island. So part of the St. Genevieve fault line goes through here and it goes on this side also. Okay, we're coming up to this clearing and there is definitely something going on up here. In my research, I couldn't find out anything. I'm hoping someone knows just exactly what I'm looking at here. We've got bricks just laying all over the place up here. Lots of bricks. But I don't know if this was like for manufacturing up here or if someone actually had houses up here. So you can see kind of like a foundation that goes around here, almost a full brick there. But this area here is where you can really see something was going on. We have a foundation here. Got a metal piece of metal here. Yep, cool stuff there. Look at this. That is coal. And you can see why, you know, they would build something up here. So what a view, you're out of the floodplain. Cause look at that. Excellent view of Tower Rock over in Missouri. So that over there is a 32 acre Missouri natural area. So during average river levels, that rises about 60 feet out of the water. Wow. Yeah, just look at this gnarly tree. Looking out on the old Mississippi. So right there we are on the top of the map. And you can see that we are pretty darn close to that fault line, which we're about to the E on here. We're gonna go down the bluff here and start to look for uh, differences in rock. Okay, it's taken a while, but I think we have finally transitioned to this backbone limestone. This is different. So as you can see here, I found a little uh, a little hole in this rock. That's kind of neat. Uh, the transition was not as clean as what I showed on the map. Just more solid, not as textured as what was to the north. Just a super cool area to be able to come out here and find stuff like this. And I am a total noob on this. I've, I'm able to do some research on online and that anybody, you know, can get out here and, and explore. Just trying to see places that I've been before in a new light. Just get out there and explore, do some research, have a great time. And uh, as we go back up over the hill now, uh, we'll get into another area that's church and it just totally changes. It's, it's definitely warming up. It was in the 20s when I got here. Now it's it's reaching up in the 40s, so I gotta get rid of some of these clothes. And after I do that, I'm gonna check out this hole. So yeah, that is weird looking. We're gonna get a look in here. Yeah, that goes pretty far down in there. So this top is definitely churdy. 
that we are headed to one of the coolest viewpoints of a town in Southern Illinois. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the coolest points to view a Southern Illinois town. So that is of course Grand Tower. And there's a lot of cool things going on down here. Not only the town, but what is across the valley there. So you can see Inspiration Point and then there's rocky outcrops. And you can actually drive by those uh, if you go on the levee road and the river flowed right through here. So some nice little church outcrops near the bottom. Okay, so here's a really good view of that uh, Clear Creek Church. Yeah, and it's really crumbly, but still a good representation of church. And what is neat about this area is right below it, we have our backbone limestone. So backbone limestone, church. Almost to the levee down here. And then we'll head back around on that road there. That hill is no joke. That is just a church slide is what it is. Yeah, so we're gonna head around back this way. So we'll parallel the river going back. So this is all backbone limestone. I am not for sure when this was closed, but it looks like it may have been a one-way drive. Looks like we've got a roadblock up here, but I think we can make it over. Okay, it looks like we're coming up on a quarry site. And you can see a lot of rock in here because they got rid of a lot of this uh, dirt away from it. We're getting to see the full glory of this Grand Tower limestone. <laughs> kind of a cool area here. In fact, that you still got a lot of dirt. I mean, this is dirty, but we've got a huge stone coming out of this dirt. Yeah, so. It's been thawing here today, and we had a freeze. So some of that dirt is just getting getting loosened up, falling down. Yeah, this is erosion live. But this is cool. I did not know these were here up until uh, last week. All right, so this is a Coke oven. Look at all these bricks. I mean, this one's pretty pretty good intact and i believe that is iron at least a form of iron that's coated on these bricks now that is the hole that goes out we'll see that a little bit better on some of the other ones so i found some information on mississippi valley traveler so i'm going to link to that in my description below right around the time of the civil war a little bit afterwards uh, by the grand tower mining mining manufacturing transportation company that's a mouthful um they basically built these coke ovens what they did was produced pig iron basically i'm going to read it directly from here oblong blocks of rough iron that was shipped to other foundries for final processing but this one is not in as good a shape there's a brick here it says something howard howard something or other but yeah it's coated also uh yeah, got its hole back there. See that? that is really coated. Yeah, this is this is really cool. This is really neat history that maybe not a lot of people know about. And you can see right there, maybe in one, right there was definitely one. Look at this rock. Yeah, that's coated with that iron. Yep, and that's collapsed. It looks like we were just all up and down here. So you can see where this has been dug out. Yep, look at that. So definitely there. So there was lots of coke ovens down this way. Okay, so these you can see really good, but this is the, the star of the whole show. So the oven part has been dismantled or has just bricks have been taken used for other things but this is the back of it so the one i crawled in this would have been the back wall and you can see that this fire so i don't know how they kept the fire in here 
uh, I think it was with coal. And yeah, you can see all the way down in there. That's cool. And this is just coated with what I think I read was like an iron byproduct. So it's red and it is very interesting, very neat. It's definitely a coating on it. And yeah, I'm just thinking of what the smell would have been that come out of here, especially if there was a hundred of these going. So here's one in not as good a shape. Got one down here. Here's a brick. It says St. Howard, St. Louis, Missouri. And that is a that is a sturdy brick. This is awesome. I just wish this was more known and protected. Because that is that is history. That is the history of this town. And right over there is Tower of Rock. So this was in full view of Tower Rock. So there was a lot going on here at this little place. And just right behind these Coke ovens is that Grand Tower limestone. So now I think we're gonna go and check out some of the river down here. So my brother and I come down here yesterday and I was wanting to see what I could film, particularly down here by the river, because I'd been already been up on top. And what I recorded was something pretty cool. And I thought, well, I'll get some quick video of it. Uh, or tomorrow, which is today, I would come back and film it. But it has completely changed. So I want to insert that video here. I don't know if you can hear it. But it is just bubbling there. There's an entrance right up here. I'll show you here in a little bit. But it has no exit. So, And it's coming in really good. So there's a lot of water coming in here. So it's just going back in the ground. But with bubbles. All right, so here's the amount of water that's coming into this place. And it kind of goes this way a little bit, but this is where it goes in. And it, there's no exit. And that over there is where it's where it was bubbling. It has no place to go except back into this, I guess, uh, sand. I mean, you can see that this sand is really loose. Looks like what we are, were observing yesterday was this water was coming in, not here, but somewhere over there. I think what was going on, and you can correct me if you know what was actually going on below, um, that this is a sandy part and that water was filtering down in that sand and basically it was getting saturated so it hadn't it hadn't got saturated yet but when it did this is what happened so this completely filled with water after that sand absorbed all that water so there was no outlet and today i can see an outlet Ooh, this is muddy as you can see, this sand is spongy. Yeah, this is not mud. This is straight up sand. And it was not like this today or yesterday. So it, it absorbed that water that was running in there that had no outlet. And uh, now it's completely filled this area. All right, so we've got a fossil down here. This is the way I found it. Just here in the Mississippi. We'll pull this little rock off. Yep, and there's some other stuff there. But that is a pretty good impression of a, a shell there. That's, that's pretty neat. Yeah, so look at this. Some of that rock or that brick from that Coke, those Coke ovens, is located here besides the Mississippi. So it's made it all the way down here. Or they may have dumped it here. But if they dumped it here, it's been here a long time. Yeah, this is just a gravel bar that was just full of rocks. So if you want to look around in here, you could find lots of stuff. Here is, looks like granite. Yep. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what all these rocks are or where they've come from, but it's just neat to get out here and Pick them up, watch them glow, 
Let the rest of the world come to you. Also at one time, there's a ferry that crossed here. So man, if a ferry was crossing here right now, I could get over to the Missouri side and check out Tower Rock. But sometime in the 70s, it closed down. And now you have to go to Cape or you have to go up north to Chester to cross. So here's a view of the gas line. I'm gonna put it down below when it was created because I forget the exact date, but uh, yeah, that is a gas line. I wanted to show you this rock right there, but they have a gate now here and I'm not for sure why. I can guess, but I don't know if it has something to do with the gas line. This is the rock. That was definitely the rock that I wanted to get out to. That is Devil's Bake Oven. And there's some cool features on it. There's a, a couple of arches. Uh, one's right in there, but another one is down below. It just depends on the water level, if you can see it. And there's a foundation of a house right there. And it's, it's claimed to be haunted. So not really sure what's, what's going on with it. So if you know anybody or if you work for Grand Tower, uh, just give me a shout out because I'd like to explore these areas behind the bars, behind the fence, a little bit more. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like. And if this is your first or second video and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just subscribe. No, just, uh, I hope I've earned your subscription. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.